Welcome to the Highest Fuck Podcast with your boy Matt Jackson and Jero. Motherfucking cool. What's up, y'all? Let's be just. Oh man, oh man, we are back at you with another pod, but we are gonna push it till Sunday. So it's all good in the hood up in this mother flipper chipper cooper What's up, mother y'all? trippers. We're here talking about random wrestling, wrestling in general. I mean, we, I, I've looked up some stuff wrestling. like some wrestling news. I want to talk about Sammy and Ko. All right, we'll go ahead and talk about the Sammy and Ko. I'm going to get that out. Get that I mean, talked we about. We gotta like we and subscribe. Reviewed. I didn't even watch Payback, but I know enough about Sammy and Kale and the Judgment Day to. I'm upset because I don't know what they're gonna do with Sammy and Ko now, and I really like Sammy and Ko as a tag team. It was really fucking good seeing yeah. them as tag team champions. I mean, they were they were good, and fucking I'm sad now because I don't know what's gonna happen. Now, if they br- can lead to some kind of feud because they're upset at each other because they lost the tag team championships, Sammy and KO feud is just as good as Sammy and KO tag team. So I'm good with it. But I need something to come out of it. Mm-hmm. Now, the Judgment Day having the tag team champions. Yeah, see, thought, that's, that's pretty if good it, right now. If uh, Damian and Finn are on at, at odds, whatever, with the J.D. McDonough thing, um, if they could somehow use the tag team championships to make that like even further that a little bit, for some reason I just want the dissolution of the Judgment Day. I want Damien to have his own time to shine yeah, in the too. sun by himself. Yeah, without Dominic. Finn by himself. But I like I like Priest with mommy. You know, like that's that's a dom, dom, that's Dominic. Dom and Rhea can go off on their own. Yeah. Damien that's, can go off on his own. Yeah, that's perfectly fine with me too. But I do like the priest and the Rhea Ripley dynamic. I do. I really do. I can't help that because that they're just some there's some monsters. But man. Dominic that's, and Rhea are good too. Yeah, I know. They body sell and then Priest goes off mm-hmm. and does his thing. And then JD and Finn, Finn can go do, do a tag team anything. or do whatever they're doing. Yeah. yeah. Which would be great. If they one wants to go get the world title, one gets an intercontinental, that's dominance too. That's being the tag team champions in a sense too. Because you both have titles, it's, you know, as a, a you thing. Think so. fucking JD McDonough can fucking take out Gunther? No, I mean, I don't know. Not, I mean, I, shit, I don't know. He does like to, like, target... J.D. McDonough can take out Gunther? Okay, well, really? well, okay, okay, here's my defense. Have you seen anything with Chad Gable where he, like, had him counted out? Chad Gable had him counted out? Didn't win the belt or nothing, but he won the match. So, mm-hmm. this whole, like, this this whole thing got broken with the damn disqualification. And not disqualification, but a count out. And Chad Gable, Chad won the match. Gable was strong enough to beat him, yeah, but not strong enough to win the title. I mean, he. I mean, I don't know. I think somebody can knock Gunther off at some point, but someone's got to knock him off to where someone like JD could knock them off. But I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? JD could fuck it. That. Maybe JD and Finn go off and they build this whole other faction. And it's more like the Bullet Club or some shit. Or something that Finn's more interested in doing. He was pretty much thrown into this Judgment Day, I guess. You would say. You know, whatever. And it was cool when he took it on and he did his thing. It, it but, did. It, it worked. But And it does work. And it's it works. beautiful. But it also could die and be okay. I thought it was going to... I thought Damian Finn was... Needs I, thought a chance. Finn was I thought it was going to ruin Finn when he came in... When Edge was thrown out, I was like, what the fuck? Damien, Why would they build Edge this far to do this to him? It was to build up to actually let another Finn leader come over. in. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but Finn, Finn could have done over. this at the beginning without no Edge's help. I'm sorry, dude. Finn Balor was a legend before he even made it to WWE, dude. Like, in my, in my point of view, and in Japan, he was, you know, a legend. And Finn. then... Finn over could here. have done whatever he wanted anyway. But, but, having the push with Edge to start the company, or not the company, but the, the thing for him, and then come in and get that huge rub from yeah, Edge I mean, that's, is 
a capitalization on something that you, I mean that's that, all what, the business helped. that's, that's helped. the that's the business giving back to you is what the company like these companies uh, these guys that we've talked to and stuff that's, that's them giving back to you even if you are in a big moment like uh, you're a big star and the guy you're working with you're just as big as he is basically Edge and Finn Balor are just as big as each other like they, they pretty much I mean yes. one's a legend yes. legend you've got legend. a legend Legend, oh. legend, and then we got Finn Balor, which is a legend. He will be, but he's up there with Edge. Like he's one of the greatest of all times. So you know what I'm saying? He's like he has Brian, that, fa- that 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 famous storied career, like anybody else. Yes, but he will be even more so if someone like as the time him. That's the only thing. A guy before him, and it's crazy because Edge is really young. You know, they're like. Comparatively, their ages are, are not... I don't think they're that far off. And if, even if they are, they're not as far off. Because one's 30 one's 50, right? It's only 20 years off, right? I have no clue. But anyway, they, they look like they're the same goddamn age. Yeah, but you got to think, 20 so. years... 20 years... Before you is a good pass of torch, I'm telling you. It's a long straight. time in this business in particular. Yeah. I you're working a desk job... 20 years is nothing. But you're yeah. working in the wrestling ring. 20 years is a long-ass time yeah. to, st- I just to wish have they, road miles on you. I just wish they would have been able to bring in go, uh, Gangrel when that happened. You know, because the, uh, they never got to bring in Gangrel to do all that stuff and all that. Let Adam Copeland go to AEW yeah. and get Christian, and then we can bring Gangrel back in for, like... I just want Edge to come in and beat up Christian. Because Christian's a bad guy right now. Christian's done being Christian. He's with Ed, uh, the dinosaur. Edge, Adam Copeland can be the rated R superstar. Hey, I don't think he did that over there. He'd have to come up with something totally different. He had to reinvent himself. He could be Adam Copeland and he can come out like Elias with a guitar. <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> we just need... I mean, he probably might add the name Edge. So maybe he maybe he comes out as Edge. Maybe he comes out with another name that's kind of like Edge. <laughs> Edge Lord. Yeah, he comes out. <laughs> his name is Edge Lord. That's all right. Lord Edge. Lord Edge. Lord Edge. Lord Edge. <laughs> Although I was thinking about that, I was like, man, that's a cool name, there, Lord Edge. It's like I'm Lord Edge. My name is Lord Edge. Or something like that. I don't know what the fuck ever, but you know, I was in my head like. Just go back to his original fucking ring name. Oh, uh, something Sex Castle. Hard Castle. Howard Castle. Sexton Hard Castle. Sexton I knew there was Hard sex Castle. in there somewhere. Sexton Hard Castle. Fucking weird, dude. But the name is cool. I mean, I, that's something that I was like, I wish I would have came up with. Yeah. I have Sexton no clue Hard why, Castle. but it's a it's a really clever, like, Sexton Hard Castle. It's, it's pretty cool. Edge. It's getting away with that, like, n- dirty shit. Mm. The end of windows, like... In the window. But, I mean, you got Sexton in there. I mean, it's, it's a dead giveaway with that word. It, uh, hard castle. But then you're thinking about a castle, and then you're thinking, that's beautiful. You know, <laughs> like, what the fuck? So, yeah, you know, and, and you're actually thinking, is Sexton really a real name? <laughs> 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 so, hard is the only thing that's really that bad about it, I think. It's like Sexton Wayman. Okay, I get where you got the sex part in there and the hard and the castle, but the only thing really wrong about it is the hard part. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to figure out if it's nasty or not. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Okay. So this Sexton, is not a strong nice podcast. podcast. Sexton Hardcastle. Sexton Hardcastle with your boys. Matt uh, uh, Jackson. And Adam yeah, Copeland. Wally Jackson. Yeah, I'm on a joke. Cool. <laughs> 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 uh, I was thinking about you being um, J.S. Cool because <laughs> J.S. Cool if you think about it it sounds like J. is cool J.S. Cool <laughs> J.S. Cool J.S. Cool J.S. Cool J.S. Cool J.S. Cool because you'd be like J.B. War but you'd be J.S. Cool J.S. Killer <laughs> We all got a digit, uh, two uh, letters, and then a word. 
What's up, y'all? Yeah, what's up, y'all? How y'all doing? We need to like, come comment, with- subscribe, <laughs> follow, hit that notification bell. We need to come up with one for Kyle and J two. Yeah, Kyle <laughs> F. Because Jay Spain hour is gonna be J S. Uh, <laughs> it's gonna have to be some other letters. It's gonna be like T T Spain hour. <laughs> <laughs> Jay's pain hour. Uh, Fucking shit, dog. JPH, Jay's pain hour. Yeah. Or something totally different like JB War. It's like James Brinkley War, you know? So it's like his initials are in there. You know, your your initials are in there. You know, except for mine. Mine's JF Killer. It's not even real. It's not MJ. It's not MJ Snatch. MJF. <laughs> it's not, it's not AJ. That's not MJ, uh, MJ, uh, MJ Snatch up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Oh, yeah. man, this is the high-ass fuck podcast. podcast, man. We so high, man. We get over here. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, we fly kite. All right, wrestling. With our brain. Wrestling. Wrestling. So, is that... Okay, so, have we talked <laughs> about Adam as much Copeland. as we're going to be like... Yeah, I know. We got on to that Sexton Castle, man. Sexton Hardcastle. <laughs> Hardcastle. <laughs> Woo, man. <laughs> oh, my God. That was good shit, though. You know, what was Christian's name? Somebody else's <laughs> name was weird, too. I don't even think. Christian Cage? I mean, I don't know, man. It was something weird in the business, but I can't think of it. But, yeah, man. Take Edge, put him on the ABD, Take another shot. Take another hit. Take another... Uh, uh, I want to uh, give him uh, his real name, though. Podcast, huh? I want to give him his real name. Who? Hey, Adam? Adam. Adam Copeland. Adam Copeland. Adam Copeland. I ain't doing it. We, I mean, he can have a finisher called the Copeland. <laughs> <laughs> it's Copeland. I'm it's booking. Copeland, you know, I Copeland. am booking He's coping Adam with the land. Copeland, right. not Edge. When I put Edge, we're just gonna call him Copeland. He's Adam Copeland. <laughs> <laughs> just call him Copeland in my roster. Right, He's Copeland. not Edge. Copeland. He's Adam Copeland. Well, then he's going to be a backstage announcer or something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to interview her. <laughs> yeah. So, how was your match tonight? This Edge. <laughs> it's like, damn, you you used to be Edge, right? And he stops the interview all the way, and he's just like, fuck, I cannot do this. <laughs> <laughs> and then he just beats everybody up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He just fucking education someone from the fucking... <laughs> he just fucking educations Christian, like, right on the fucking... Yeah, he's trying to interview him. Floor. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see where John Cena interviewed some people backstage? Dude, they <laughs> start out the interview. Adam Copeland's like, I'm Adam Copeland, and I'm here for an <laughs> interview with my friend Christian. And then they put on their glasses and do the Edge and Christian oh, yeah. stick. Oh, yeah. And the then, five minute and then pose, fucking, yeah, they five second pose. And then they do the interview, and uh, Christian's just like talking dog shit about Edge. Adam the whole time. He's just like using his name and he's just talking dog shit. And then fucking I'm just like, I can't fucking no. And he's like Poof. And he just executions him <laughs> on the floor and then he's like How'd that feel? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that'd be cool. I just like to see Edge versus Luchasaurus. I don't know why, but I think that'd be a cool match. Edge and Luchasaurus. <clears throat> but um Kind of close to Luchasaurus is the Jack Perry thing, uh, which I, I've got some stuff. We beat we beat P- CM Punk like a dead horse already, so well, let's not talk about it. Not really. I mean, here's like some comments that Road Ro- Dog Road Dog comments on AEW's Jack Perry small ball mentality. Hmm. Yeah. So I don't know. Jack Perry. Uh, the Hall of Famer Road Dog. Just James, not impressed with Jungle Boy Jack Perry following Perry's part in a backstage alt- um, altercation Everybody with CM Punk. Everybody had their own part, just like at the AEW All In. Punk has been fired. Perry has been indefinitely suspended, and James is fed up. It's just small ball. It's um, small ball mentality. James said on his part, oh, you didn't know. Podcast. Please. He also noted that so much of the entire situation was generated by wrestlers paying too much attention to wrestling news sites and dirt sheets, noting um, 
that much of the content stems from wrestlers using reporters as and in, inter whatever intermediaries. <laughs> I don't know. Just stir intermediators. Up. Yeah, in, intermediators. Intermediaries. Yeah, I just got lost in that word for a minute. I just was like, oh, what the fuck? Anyway, so to stir up other wrestlers, <clears throat> James said that he would have a of problem with Perry too had he called him out on live pay per view like he did Punk. So he, uh, obviously, I guess Perry's Jack started some shit with CM Punk, man. Everybody has their part. Just like I'm anything. on punk side, man. There's not enough people meeting you at the curtain when you say stuff like that. James chuckled. It's small ball mentality. James expressed his thoughts <clears throat> that all of the politics and, and backstage in, in AEW is ruining one of the best parts of wrestling. And um, camaraderie, camaraderie is the best thing about the business, James said. Not money, not the wrestling. All that really cool, all, all that's really cool, but man, the best part about it is hanging out with the boys and having a good time. You know, yesteryear, it wasn't, it wasn't crazy to see a fight, James continued noting. That guys would fight from the locker room and to airport, but it happened all the time. You know, what I'm saying it wasn't like a big deal because they were like they were tougher. I mean, I would say they were tougher because they they just had this like everybody was in that same mentality. You know, it was just like whatever. But if 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 Perry's coming at Punk and Punk comes from you know a generation that's you know a little bit, I guess toughened up than this one, I guess, or whatever. I don't know. But, yeah. It's, he, obviously, I don't know. But, I'm not going to finish reading what Road Dog got, but he has a lot of stuff. So, Road Dog had a lot, obviously, a lot to say about it. I say they're both in the wrong. I don't know what the hell's going on with either side. Uh, Jack starting at first or whatever. But, you know, if he did start it, then that's <laughs> fucked up because we all know that, you know, you don't go to legends like that or people that's above you. In that sense, because anybody, and that, this is what I was taught, anybody who has a name like that, like, legit, like, you know, you just don't, yeah, just don't do that. Yeah, it's ridiculous. If it wasn't for a guy like CM Punk, you wouldn't even have guys like CM Punk. He broke the mold for that shit. Like, he broke that shit. He helped, he helped. Push it further, of course. But anyway, <clears throat> so I. But I'm sad. Okay, I'm sad. Okay, we lost the Bray Wyatt. God dang it! And now we ain't got no goddamn CM Punk. So what the fuck do I get? <laughs> I got this new talent. It's good shit. So is Cole and stuff. But what do we freaking get? Now I'm just playing. I got Finn Balor. I got a lot of names. But anyway, carrying on. I really was really excited about CM Punk. I'm sorry. Fuck, dude. I mean, I get it. I lived a lot of the years waiting for him. Knowing that he would, like, yeah. I know what you're doing, dog. You're just going to stay away for as long as, you know, you can until the money's right. I know what you're doing. And I was okay with it all. Right now, look at it. Hey, at least they paid the man. So all that matters to me, CM Punk got paid, my dude. So, um, <clears throat> let's see, Gable Stevenson reportedly removed from NXT roster. Dude, picks up first singles match victory after his career. I don't know what that's about, but I'm not going to read it. But Gable Stevenson removed from the NXT roster hmm. after pulling out of World Championship com competition. We're also getting, this is crazy though, on the Reality of Wrestling, which is Booker T's company, they're actually putting on two NXT stars. It's Jack Dempsey and Axiom going on. So they're going to be in, uh, where was it at? I don't know. But, um, and uh, something about Becky Lynch and Tiffany Stratton. That's crazy. They're trying to fight. 
I don't know if they have yet or not. I've been keeping up with that, but I don't that, Becky was in the thing with Zoe. I mean, they were. She was, and then Tiffany Stratton started some shit. But it's wild with the Chad. I mean, the Gable, Gable Stevenson. I I thought that was going pretty good with that. I wasn't expecting that to uh, go south or anything like that. Dudley Boyce uh, signed new duty contracts. Whoa. Legends contract. All right. Talk Impact versus WWE runs. Impact 1,000 on return. What? Wow. Dudley's talking with WWE. Hmm. I've seen this uh, fantasy thing. I don't know if it's a fan. I don't know. I guess it's fantasy would have to be because I don't think it'd be out yet. The uh, freaking Hall of Famers for this year. Oh. And Bray Wyatt was one of them that they yeah. put in there, and uh, Johnny Knoxville. And I'm pretty sure they're knocking it on the head. Knoxville. <laughs> yeah, and there's a couple others I can't remember. Oh, Knoxville. But this damn Dudley Boy thing is interesting. So I'm gonna read into this. And we're going to like and subscribe. Like, yeah. comment, subscribe. Hit that, Hit notification, that notification bell. bell. Follow us on X. X still, baby. X. The highest fuck podcast in wrestling match. Wrestling Matt 12 and uh, High AF Pod, I believe is our handle. I believe. Tell us, comment, tell us what. You want to hear us talk about and watch and and we're on Facebook. We're on Wrestling Matt uh, Facebook group page. Five hundred and some. Oh, and check out and growing. We said so. we would talk about this. Check out our boys at the Southwick, Southwick Tobacco Plaza. and Vape Tobacco and Vape Shop down there at Southwick, Danville, Virginia. Yeah, over there near uh, Southwick. Well, it's Southwick Plaza. Plaza. You can't miss it. Danville, Virginia. Danville, Virginia. Yeah. Over there near the, uh, where your head is. Over there. D-C-C. D-C-C. Go past DCC. DCC. Go past DCC going that way. You'll pass at DCC. Near Grove Park. Near Grove Park. Southwick, Southwick Plaza. Plaza. Near the Tobacco and Vape Shop. Southwick Plaza Tobacco and Vape Shop. Go down there and tell them your boys, Matt. And Joe from the High A F podcast My dude's sent name you is what and his dude's name is I don't know what the dude's name is but anyway so my dude's name you go down there you say the high the high that the High A F podcast sent you down there Montana 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 y'all just tell them that we sent you down there the High A F podcast at the Southwick Plaza Tobacco and Vape yep. The highest fuck podcast sent you. And we're going to start doing... Joe, a, cool. We're going to start doing a commercial in between every episode or whatever. Whenever we feel like it. Check it out. Check it out. Southwick Check out Plaza. the Southwick Plaza Tobacco and Vape. Down there on... Uh, near Grove Park. Yeah. It sounds so fucking dope when you say down there about Grove Park. Grove Park sounds like a rapper area. You know what I'm saying? Like down there a little way grew up or something. Y'all. You know what I'm saying? That, little, that, was, that was where that rapper grew up. That's where Grove Joe Cool grew up. Sounds so fucking dope. Anyway, so anyway, down there on Grove Park, down Southwick Plaza, them tobacco and vape shop. Get down there and get you doing vapes, uh, like Mr. Fogg, I think they have, right? They have Mr. Fogg. Orion they have Orion's. They have Orion bars. They have Elf bars. They have, they have everything. Sometimes they have deals. One time they had a two for 35. On He's vapes. got bongs for like Any vape. bucks. You could have gotten two Mike Tysons. That's He's 50 got bucks. Dope ass bongs for like a hundred bucks. Dope bongs. That grow, we got, we got in the bongs dark. that are like shit. He might even drop a damn demons day, on them with like skeletons and shit. He may have a sale. You never know. You might be walking in there. You never know. He might have a sale going on. You might want to bust loose on some damn bong cash. He has some that's got these like in detail faces of skulls. Yeah. Creepy shit, dude. Fucking wicked, dog. Like, go down there and check it out. Southwick Plaza. Tobacco and Weird, vape. Crazy ass glass pieces, dude. Yeah, I mean, he's got so many damn pieces down there, like bowls, everything. He's got everything you need, man. Slides. Slides, all that shit. You got everything. Uh, Joe just got a, this dang, uh, this cool ass slide for his bong. Yep. Uh, his, the bong's dope. It's got like bumblebees all over it, the honeycombs and everything like that Fuck going yeah. all the way over it. It's fucking sick as fuck. It's probably, it's uh, one of the, I would say one of the top of the line bongs. 
uh, I can't remember the brand, oh. Bumblebee or something like that, Honey Bee, Honey something, I don't remember the brand, and then you got this cool ass triangle, green triangle uh, bowl piece, it's pretty fucking fat, too big, you know, wise. Fat. And uh, how much? How much? How much was something like that? Five like, bucks. Five bucks for the slide. Ten bucks, maybe. Maybe ten bucks for the slide. Um, but nice, actual big. It's girthy. Big chunky. It's a chunky fucking piece of damn glass. So that's good. Good quality. As shit I drop it. Ooh, don't do that. But uh, I did see a commercial on a bowl that someone literally threw. Fucking chunked mm. it. The concrete did nothing to it, man. I'm saying if I drop it from this <laughs> height, it'd probably be alright. Yeah, it might be. But uh it's thick glass, dude. Yeah, it's thick, thick boy. Um he's thick got other boy. he's got the other little ones too. You don't have to get one of the ginormous ones. They're probably about five if you go that yeah. far. But uh the bowls are reasonably it's priced. Tiny slides. Uh papers, I mean blunts, I believe too. I don't know. He's just got everything you need down there. Mm -hmm. Everything. Hookahs. He's got tobacco. He's got tobacco stuff. He's got like cigarette everything you need. Cigarillos. Dog. Cigarettes, everything, man. Cigarillos. Get in there, get you vapes, dog. Two Vape. thirty five sometimes, man. Bates are pretty well done. Uh, pretty well. I will too. say again, Southwick Plaza Tobacco Southwick and Southwick Plaza down there. Tobacco and vapes dog. at the Southwick Plaza. Check Montana, it out, Montana, Montana, Montana. Tell them we sent you the highest fuck podcast. All right, back to Russell. Back to Russell. We're gonna read up on this Dudley Boy stuff. Yeah. And so. They have to sign a WWE Legends contract. Nice. <laughs> what the fuck? That's nice. Nice, dude. Nice. nice. The Dudley Boys boys <laughs> in the WWE, dude. Look at this man. Didn't even read about it. Just, you already knew it was a Legends contract coming up. All right. So, uh, so they've talked uh, about, let's see, with Justin Barrasso or whatever, a sports illustrated to promote their in-ring return. Oh. <clears throat> in reunion. As the Dudley Boys, oh, as the Impact Thousand tapings this weekend. I think I said it was during the Thousand tapings, uh. and revealed that they both recently signed with Dirty Legend contracts. That's freaking cool. That means they're gonna get paid Legend money. That's dope. Uh, whatever that is. <laughs> well, no, that means Edge is definitely a Legend. Yeah, because the Dudley Boys are. Yeah. No other details have provided on the WWE details. I mean the deals. But the most decorated tag team in history is looking forward to returning in the ring on Saturday at the Impact 2000 taping, which will air on Thursday, September 14th. Impact has not named their opponents as of this writing. Bubba and Devon have worked for the company nearly 30 years, whatever. Impact Wrestling? Yeah. So is... they just did this, uh, September 14th will be their last show there, or mm -hmm. last match there. We spent more time in Impact than we did ECW and or WWE. They were in Impact longer than WWE and ECW, so that's uh, pretty crazy. The thing about the crazy. Dudleys, so the Dudleys basically built TNA in a way in yeah. that big portion of thirty years. Yeah. God, man, that's thirty years of TNA. That was like the yeah. best years of the TNA. Too. That was some of the best years right there. I mean, I know Hogan came in and ruined some of it, but it was still okay. We had Joker I mean, I guess, Sting. Yeah, we did have Joker Sting. That was fucking great. We wouldn't have had Joker Sting without Hogan, so there's that. Yeah, okay, whatever. I mean, but we still had Hogan fucking shit Eric up. Bischoff <laughs> and Hogan, dude. Yeah, we still had that going on. Um, it's always Eric Bischoff So, we, we spent, okay, so they, they spent a lot of time there. Uh, we never thought uh, this would happen with Devon's health, but he says he feels great, so we're going out there on Saturday. And we're going to give it all, to give give our fan base what they know and love and expect from 3D. <clears throat> well, Devon officially retired shortly after their last match together in December 2016. Bubba has continued to wrestle and currently a top heel in Impact. It looked like there was a slim chance of Devon having any kind of in-ring future. He suffered stroke in 2019. While working as a duty producer, however, he recovered from the stroke and underwent back surgery, and ended up leaving the WWE in January of this year after working that role since September 26. Devon then back into into the ring and kept improving, and now he's having his first match in seven years. Devon's been fucked up for a while, so I'm just trying to like. And Bubba's been wrestling with TNA. 
Yeah, I'm just trying to think, like, a Legends contract, are we going to be getting them? I mean, I know we're getting them last match. Very limited schedule, last matches. I mean, that would be pretty cool. So that's that's pretty dope, man. Congratulations. Yeah. One of the best tag teams in the fucking world, dude. For sure, dude. Yeah. You got to get Devon back in healthy and being able to do what he does. Kind of crazy with AEW not picking him up. That is crazy. Yeah. At least do a match with the Hardys or something. (laughs) I mean, Well, Devon's returning for his in-ring debut. Okay, so we had Gil Kim come back on Impact 1000. So Impact 1000 was actually probably really good. I might have to check that out. Yeah. I might have to check that show out, man. Um... And Trinity. So it was Trinity and Gail Kim. So, oh, cool. Um, two new Impact Wrestling Hall of Fame inductees announced. Oh, let's check that out. So we got Impact Hall of Fame. and, and uh, I know we don't talk about Impact a lot. You know, I get they, they get put on the back burner a lot. But. So. Um, it looks like it's. Oh man. Impact. Well, it kind of looks like they're saying it's Santana and Ortiz. Santino Morella. No, Santana. I mean, San, <laughs> San, Santana. Oh, I heard. I saw something about Santino Morella on something. Oh man. On a. Dirt cheat or something. I'm not other. seeing nothing about this when I clicked on it, so I don't know what this is talking about. But anyway, congratulations <laughs> to the Dudley Boys. Hell yeah! Three D. Devon on your return. Devon. Three D. Get the table. Woo! We love the Dudley Boys. Hell Here yeah! Here at the High as Fuck podcast. This is my highest fuck dude. Dude, we actually could see three D. Edge and Christian and the Hardy Boys the third time. We could actually. It could happen. But will it? If they all go to AEW. If we can do some WWE versus TNA or WWE versus AEW. Adam Copeland could just go to AEW and get Edge and Christian. Tony Khan will give the Hardy Boys Hardy to Boys TNA are for a little AEW. bit. I know he would. To do this, if TNA and Bubba works it, with them, WWE, but no, Bubba Tony and Khan will give the Hardy Boys. Bubba, Bubba and Devon are getting ready to go into WWE. He'll give so Christian, too. If WWE works with TNA, Tony Khan can give those three guys to TNA for a while. Get it? For a little while. And then they will actually can work with the WWE. And then all you have to do is get the Dudleys. From Dave East side. Because the Hardys and Christian and Edge are already taken care of. Because everything's taken Endeavor. care of. Endeavor. Like, because Tony we- Khan would throw them in TNA in a heartbeat if he can get that out of it. Endeavor could throw I would hope. the Dudley boys into, do- into a, uh, TNA for a little while. No, I mean, I just saw that rumor. I don't know if it's a rumor or not, but about TNA working with WWE. Like, you know, like company versus company. That'd be really dope, dude. WWE needs to open up because AEW had a big thing with they might with uh with the forbidden door. They doors, might so. with Endeavor having shares. Forbidden door. With Endeavor having the shares, they might open the forbidden door. Maybe because Endeavor might make that decision to do that. WWE never would have by themselves. Now what about the SmackDown leaving Fox? What? Yeah. SmackDown's leaving Fox? Yeah. Crazy. Crazy Gimpal. I don't know if it's rumors or not. We're just reading news stuff. Breaking news. Breaking news. SmackDown. Moving off of Fox. Rumor. Yeah. Let's go to AEW Wrestling News and see what's going on there. MJF. Um. And Adam Cole. Are the tag team? Oh, champions. but what about that new pay per view? Uh, the new pay per view, October first, man. Wrestle Dream. Wrestle Dream. Yeah, it's kind of written like WrestleMania. Cool. AEW. Yep. Zack Saber Dream. I oh, lost Zack Saber Dreamer. Zack Saber Junior. I mean, I guess it's gonna be there or something like that. I don't know. That's probably gonna happen. Uh, so like, okay, so Dream Match is what they're talking about. Brian Danielson versus Zack Saber Junior. Yeah, let's do that. 
Well, let's get that. That's a dream match, but let's get it. In the bout, originally scheduled for the inaugural Forbidden Door, uh, the world's second most renowned technical wrestlers go one-on-one -on -one at AEW Wrestle Dream. Let's do it, dog. Let's do it. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Let's see. Andretti's back. Shikatukurabata. Andrade Cienama. Jay Cargill came back. That's good. That's real good. Jade Cargill. I love her. What's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? John or Moxley here. News. John Moxley. I am John Moxley. This is Roman Reigns, and I am <laughs> Seth Rollins. Ew. I'll be Roman Reigns. You can be John Moxley. <laughs> I'll take skewers in my fucking forehead before I'll be Roman Reigns. Jesus Christ. Damn, damn it, man. <laughs> Whoa. <clears throat> um, so. <laughs> <laughs> so, I guess it's going to be. I don't know if it's going to be in between us or not, but I mean, I'm seeing this stuff on there. Roddy versus. Uh, that Roddy Strong Dude versus Joe to get a shot at the MJF uh, at Grand Slam coming up. Uh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. So, um, no thanks to someone saying on Twitter, <clears throat> Mark Red Believer, he said, have a feeling that Claudio wins at Grand Slam and we get Shibata versus Claudio at Russell Dream. And I do hope Eddie Dude. wins. So, um, yeah. Hell yeah, let's go. I'm reading some people's Twitters. Or X. X. Why isn't Lord Crew Kills facing John Moxley for the title on Wednesday? All right. Yeah, why not? I don't know. I have no clue, dude. No why clue. Isn't he? So on on Twitter, hey hey, it's Conrad. He's a wild one, let me tell you. I don't care how many AEW titles they win. I'll never eat at a Longhorn Steakhouse again. Go cry river, Conrad. My baby Jade is back. LFG, whatever that means. A wife forever girlfriend. Kind of weird, Midnight uh, EXP17 on the X. It's kind of sus. Loves her. So at Bowen's official and at Platinum Max, are there going to be shirts with tour dates on the back? And a little zigzag scissor jet plane on the front. Soon in the AEW at, at AEW shop, the Acclaim World Tour, and that is Twitter hashtag Media Guy MJ Marks and Parks. That's a really good one. That's a really good one. That's good. I'm thinking about it. I like that idea, the man. Tour. That's good, MJ Parks. Hashtag Media Guy on Twitter. We got hashtag. No, I mean, I'm just playing. Twitter, on Twitter, Mook Williams. X. On X. Mook Williams. Just straight up Mook. Mook. Man at John Moxley can have a great match with any style or experience level of wrestler. By the way, no shade on AA. Uh, Austin Aries? I don't know what he means by that. Uh, that is the mark of someone on the short list of the greatest pro wrestler in the world. Now, I say what? Jim Cornette would not like you right now, Mook. Mox is awesome. Yeah, he is. But John, Jim Cornette would hate him for that right there. The yeah. Mox cutter that Mox went for? Yeah, the Mox cutter, guys. The Mox cutter. It's just the greatest thing ever, ain't it? It was awesome. Yeah. Twitter, the lovely one. That's what her name is. Whatever. In my happy place, hi, she's a security guard. Security guard Sam, I guess. I don't know. What's going on with this AEW Ring of Honor, AEW Collision? Twitter, Sega Genesis, 7572-03, yada, yada, yada. AEW, All Day Elite Wrestling, TBS title, open challenges, in international title, open challenges, tag team titles, no open challenges, women. World title tournaments and fatal, fatal, oh, uh, 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 and four way eliminators. But yeah, so. Open challenge. We got Riley Ritz talking about 
AEW fired CM Punk, but Jay Cargill's back. It's an upgrade to me. What do it? <laughs> you know, like I, you know, I applaud you on that halfway. Um, generic makaki takaki. I'm sorry, I just cannot. I cannot read the word either, man. Maki a I don't know. I never could have predicted that an Elton official song would be featured in the intro to a wrestling show, and yet it's perfect. So that's good shit, dude. So, and uh, AEW Collision, yeah, we sold out Wimbley. Most attended wrestling show ever. We don't care whatever anyone says. We are the professional wrestling. Wow. Bernardo Main said that. And Scott E. Wrestling, he's like, Andre Day's back. So, that's cool. Uh... AEW should consider. AEW should consider putting Brian Danielson in bubble wrap until they finally get the the, the, the Z <laughs> ZSJ match. He almost fell off the stage at the press conference, <laughs> oh, and Tony shit. Khan was like, ah, "I'd love it. I gotta see that." It was hilarious. I, I, I don't know why I didn't see that, but I didn't see it. But that's, just, <laughs> right. so that's at Lucha Blog Twitter. Wow, what a dick! I yeah. love it. <laughs> Twitter, Sean Ross Sap. I, he he he's big on there. I want AEW to do a tournament of battle royals that are completely filled out by open challenge participants. Dude, I've been fucking fantasy doing that on the game. A tournament of battle royals or a tournament of fatal four ways, tournaments of triple threats, tournaments of this. So every match is a triple threat that you have. And then whoever wins those triple threats face each other there and triple threat face each other there. Say so, say so essentially you have a 10, 20 man battle royal. Right? Whoever wins that battle royal is one person. They slotted here. Whoever wins this battle royal that's twenty motherfucking people, or whatever it is, they win. Bam, they fight each other. The two battle royal winners. And then you have two more battle royals. <laughs> and then these guys win. And then these guys win. And, you know, until they did a whole King of the Ring tournament deal. Of battle royals? So if you think King of the Ring, you can do any style match in a King of the Ring. Style bracket system. Doesn't matter if it's one on one, two on two. It's all the same thing. Is it? It's all a match. Thirty man battle royals, or is it ten man? Battle I mean, royals? battle royals are battle, battle royals battle? can go ten to twenty because a thirty man. That's a royal rumble. That's like kind of pushing it, I believe. But I get any any amount of people is a technical battle royal. So, so you can do small battle. Royals. You can do sixty man battle royal if you wanted to, man. It's ridiculous, man. You really could. Well, that's what I'm saying. So. Yeah, uh, it's a battle royale. It's like Fortnite, dude. It's a battle royale. Dude, we should <laughs> do a hundred man battle royale. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome. Just a wrestling, just a hundred guys there. Like, who would you even, man? Yeah, just book a hundred guys. You know, you know how many guys I could book every last hundred dude too. Don't put it past me. I'll book the whole fucking battle royale, and it'll be fucking entertaining as fuck, dude. As long as I can book the guys I want. And I got an unlimited array of guys to book. I can book that. You tell me if I can't, like, just say, okay, I want Colby Creener there. Okay. 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 I need the Hurricane. Okay. I was I like, okay. It. I need I need John Cena. All right. I got I it. I need. Dude. I got it. I need fucking Sin Crowley. I figured it gotcha. out. Gotcha. Sin I, Bodie. I need him. I figured it out. We got 10. 10 man battle royals, right? 10 battle. We got 10 man. That's like good. All right, so 10 10 man battle royals. Because essentially, you're getting rid of all these excess matches that could happen that are singles. Right. If you put a bunch of. Like, if, if you go 10 guys, two, four. Yeah, it's all even. So, if these are all single matches right here, so one on one, you know, two, you know, whatever. So, if each each of those guys were having a single match, it's the same basic thing. We're just getting it all done in one. Right. Yeah. So you got a 10 man battle royal, right? 10 man battle royal. You got 10 of those. Right? Yeah. So, each 10-man battle royal has a winner, right? Yeah. 
and then he goes slotting. So you got two ten man battle royals. Brackets, right here. I mean. Yeah, brackets. Ten man battle royal here. Yeah. And ten just keeps man going. battle royal here. Ten man battle royal. However here. many you need ten for King of Ring, yeah. So you got a hundred men battle royal tournament. So it's a hundred man battle royal. Yeah. But it's ten teams of ten. So what if or no, not ten teams of ten. Ten matches of ten. What if when it comes down to the last two and they win the title or whatever's going on here for the tournament or win the chance to whatever, that all the guys left do a big battle royal. And they start for the gets. first two guys? So No! Oh. All the guys that are left over yeah, after all we get to the end of the tournament gets, get to have another big battle oh, royal. Where it's all love and they going, get to be the number one contender for whoever wins that championship match at the top. Yeah, exactly. So whoever's going for the title in this whole tournament essentially is going for the title. So whoever wins this title match here, the winner of this, yeah, the winner of this faces them. Yeah, Be- Beautiful, right? Man, look what we just did there off one guy's post on X. And that's a pay-per-view. <laughs> that's a, yeah, man. That's a something, man. That's like a three-day event. Uh, but that is some of the latest popular stuff on Twitter. You know, I don't really care about Twitter, but we're going to go in today and go into the day results and see what's going on for today, but I don't really see much there either. Um, but yeah, so there's a lot of, a lot of good stuff in wrestling going on. I mean, I just want to, I want to know where the hell, uh, is Danhausen? <coughs> where the hell is Danhausen? I don't see some Danhausen. Actually, so, <clears throat> yeah, I want to see some Danhausen. Um, wrestling's good. Wrestling's great. <coughs> Thank you for this wrestling that I get to watch. Type, double title match between Claudio, Claudio Castanelia and uh, Eddie Kingston. <coughs> so, so, some good stuff going on, I guess. You know, let's go with some rumors, girl. <coughs> Chicky chow mein on your motherfucking brain. What the hell? So, you have to like and subscribe, and you have to do all those things right now. Oh, also some interesting, not interesting, some crazy news. Um, we had our <coughs> annual Blue Ridge Rocks Fest this yeah. year. That is a something that actually happened. That is so something we have to that talk happened. about it. And for the first some couple days, there was a couple days that were okay, I guess, for it for some people. I didn't go to this. I would have been pretty pissed off. Um, but I had one good day. That I mean, for me that. <sighs> I, I told myself too. I'm looking over it like I would be mad because these like if I would have had all three days lined up, yeah, that fucking suck, dude. Fucking for real. Going back, looking at bands, all that shit. Uh, <clears throat> being actually, I'm actually sad for the bands too because they didn't get to play. They were looking forward to playing for fans, you know. Like it's yeah. vice versa. It's both ways. Right. You know, fans, you know, all that shit. Um, for most bands, maybe not every band, but um, I was just glad to see what bands got to play with the circumstances and what the hell happened this year was weird but yeah um but slipknot getting going on and you know so that that was all right then you know some of the bands that got to go on chelsea grand fucking job for a cowboy freaking you know but see that still that takes away like pantera that takes away avatar that takes away fucking tons of bands that didn't get to play <coughs> um jeff hardy um you know all kinds of fucking people it's it's tons it's, um three Days in a row, or not in a row. Three days got well, two and a half days. Yeah, two got and a half canceled. got canceled. Yeah, but I mean, uh, the oversight. I guess it's okay because three days went on. No, th- three and a half days went on. Yeah, three and a half days on, two and a half days off. That it's, but it's, but it, see, the crazy part is the two days, the the Saturday and Sunday. The crazy thing is, it's the tons of bands that are inside those two days. That's the crazy part. I didn't get to see who I wanted to see. Yeah. 
and that exactly that those 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 um so many different they're so it's just not being able to see who you need wanted to see um having that one day because like you know some people they book the whole day the, the whole whatever but that is crazy insane money right there i don't know who the hell oh man that's crazy money but, um, and even if you book the whole thing like if you book a four day it's still <coughs> you don't get the pre-camping party or yeah you can't go to work. the the club experience and experience the hip-hop stuff because you didn't get a camping ticket so, yeah, which I think is weird, but you know, they're just keeping it, you know, sep, sep, you know, keeping certain people that be able to get get into that part. I guess keep it small as well, knowing it's going to be small that way. I guess you know, um, or big, either way, medium, whatever they want. Right. That you know what I'm saying. Um, I guess for the overall part of it, you know, what was able to be done uh, for whoever got to do it. You know, but, uh, yeah, it scares me for next year. And they, they're like, you know, hinting at corn being there next year. And I'm just like, got excited. And then, hey, I just want like a single out bands like I always I'm do. I'm starting to. Let's just go to like in, in house places. Like, I'm starting to wonder if we start trying, if we start going, trying to find another festival to go to. Yeah. Incar Incarnation. Chelsea Grand plays. Oh, uh, DD, DTD, or any of the others. Or fucking, like, was that on the tour, the, the Warp Tour? Warp Tour. Yep. I know some it shows coming running. up. <laughs> I know Warped some tour. shows coming up. So I do have Corn Effects and Signs of the Swarm coming in. Um, and I got, there's, there's Murder Dolls. And there's quite other bands coming up at these <coughs> little cool places up there in Greensboro. There's actually a show coming up in this month right now. A uh, buddy, buddy of my band, buddy of my friend, uh, buddy of mine's friend, buddy of mine's, my a buddy of mine's band, a couple buddies of mine's, if I can talk right, um, are in a band, and they'll be playing. So, Devil Me Die playing in September. So. <coughs> And that's up there in Greensboro, so we can definitely go to that. Bursing, uh, Bessinger, Bessinger, Bessinger. Anyway, Bessinger, North Carolina. Uh, it's a little uh, bar up there. They gonna have five dollar pitchers, dog. Pitcher of beer, five dollars, man. Hopefully, Glenn Tickle goes, and uh, he goes, man. We gonna be five dollar pitchers in, dog. I mean, getting it, dog. So there is that. <coughs> and we can always look at the Blue Ridge Rock Festival bands and whichever ones that you're thinking about, like whatever, we can always be on the lookout for inside places to see them. Because some of those play a lot of gigs close. Quite a few of them did. Mm -hmm. I know the festival joint. It's fucking insane. I, I want to go to something that big. Like, I went to it's Ozfest, to, but it's different. Yeah, it's different it's when you're at a, different. Fest, yeah. a festival. Now, I don't know why Danville just can't have good weather on goddamn shit like this. <laughs> Every year, man. Y'all get rained out, but it was never canceled. Last year, we didn't got rained. really but... get rained out <laughs> last year. We got rained on, but we still partied. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So it wasn't that bad. But I think the year before that, oh my God, with the Rob Zombie. Dust. Oh, Rob Dust was bad. a problem that year. Yeah. And then the explosion of the poop toilet. <laughs> the poop toilet, boys and girls. Poop toilet. You gotta take care of your shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> People were not doing their job that day, so they should have gotten goddamn fired that day. Let me talk to you. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> the poop toilet. <laughs> the poop toilet go boom. <laughs> it was like it was like fucking the Woodstock stock ninety nine and sixty nine all together, man. It's like both of them. But, ah! Damn, Blue Ridge Rock Fest. Damn, starting off like some Woodstock. Let's go. Um, let's. It took uh, three hours to get through the line for shuttles last night, and that's ridiculous. That's crazy as hell, dog. That is crazy. It's insane. Man, it should be just like I don't know. Better way. There should be a better way. There should be always a better way for things. Whoa, that was a big old finger. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, it's like, uh, anyway, so there, but there are like fests too. Like there's, there's obviously there's other fests coming up. There's, uh, there's this death fest, waken, whacking fest, something like that. See, I'm not, I, I'm more like with Blue Ridge. It's nice because it's a, it's a, it was a, a Raymond, spectrum. Yeah. There is another one. What is the other one? Fuck, what is it? I'd really like to go hear some surf rock fucking festival, like uh, like it's cello, fucking, whatever it was called. Get fucking like shit, like fucking Chili Peppers and like fucking Sublime at a festival. Yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah, be cool. Def- Sublime is dead. I don't know. The lead singer's been dead for a long time. <laughs> oh man, so we had a, a brain fire. I'm gonna get somebody to like fill in for the guy. I don't know that. Um, but I love their. Music. I, I'd like to get like Bob Marley, Marley and like Elvis Presley and Nirvana on the <laughs> same show, dude. Okay, fine. And extension. I, I didn't understand. Dude. Oh, meatloaf. Uh, <laughs> I'm already building a good one. This is a good one. Okay, this is a good show here already. <laughs> we'll get Bray Wyatt come out there and just do something. <laughs> yes. Macho Man comes out there and he just swills his finger off. <laughs> comes out there just to advertise for some gems. <laughs> Twiddling his finger like this. <laughs> oh, snap to a slim gem. Right. Bray Wyatt's just over there like, run. <laughs> let me in. Uh, let me, or let me chew. <laughs> Damn it, man. Oh. oh wow, we are the high A- wow. A- AF podcast. We went way. Wow. We went, wow. <laughs> we went there and we did came that. back. Yeah, at some point we came back. We did. But yeah, man. We did that. That was awesome. That was a trip, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fun with story time with Adam Cole, baby. Mm. Oh man! Um, although that would be a nice little segment, like story time with Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I just kind of have to call it something like story time, whatever. <laughs> story time AF. I don't care. Story time as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, and we'll just tell crazy stories like that. Um, oh, where was Terry Funk at? Oh, he was trying to brand somebody. <laughs> <laughs> He's there trying to brand somebody. I don't know. He's branding. Uh, he's branding somebody. Probably Dusty Rose. Sabu or was. I don't know. <laughs> Sabu was dreaming, and Terry Funk was visiting him in his dream oh, hardcore barbed wire match. Oh, that's what I was. That was happening. <laughs> <laughs> All the ECW guys dreamed that one. <laughs> Damn it! Shit! Oh man! So um, sorry. Got I your damn look. No, I like their music, and I didn't know he was dead. That's all good, dude. See, I didn't know uh, Kurt Cobain was dead when I was younger. Like, not even that younger, dude. I should have known, dude. <laughs> I should have known, dude. Uh, and I was you like... <laughs> <laughs> dude, it's not funny. But it is funny, because I just... When I got told, you could have saw my... I, I wish I would have saw my face, but it was just like... What? He'll never it was like it all <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> Oh, my God. What it's, the fuck, I'll dude? I'm telling you, that's like those moments in life. Yeah, life. it's like it's like uh, Santa uh, Claus is uh, real yeah, when you like, realize Nirvana's dead. <laughs> Actually, you know, like Santa Claus is real, dude. He's like a real dude, dude. He's okay for a real dude, dude. <laughs> Saint Nicholas, <laughs> the man of the hour, man. Woo wee, <coughs> wee woo, wee woo. <coughs> I'm, I'm starting a church of Santa anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all come join the <laughs> church of Santa. That is where we worship Santa. The holy matrimony of Santa. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? The elves, the elves are my minions. <laughs> <laughs> the elves are the, all the children that believe in Santa. <laughs> <laughs> I'm raising them right. Santa is God. 
<laughs> he is the Lord and Savior. This is the highest fuck podcast highest fuck with podcast, your boys, man. Matt. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Satan's some type of clown. What's so, your I name? Mean, What's your name, boy? Oh, <laughs> man. Damn. Matt. Yowie Wowie Jackson. And J.S. Motherfucking Cool, y'all. <laughs> What's up? What it all do? Like, comment, subscribe, follow. We just went off on a fucking wow. tangent. Hell, yeah. We were, uh... That was about as bad as Chucky and <laughs> <laughs> that was bad as Chucky and Grimace. That one night when they were getting it on, it was fucking horrible. Can you imagine that? Chucky getting it on with Grimace, big ass purple thing. <laughs> Hurt God knows what. What the fuck, dude? Yeah. Wow. Grimace, dog. A big old fat thing. A purple thing. <laughs> <laughs> what if Grimace and them Barney got it going? What if they were friends or something, man? They were like cool as shit. And they're just like skipping in the tulip. <laughs> With their little stubby arms. <laughs> they got to be really close. <laughs> they got to be real close to each other to walk like that. And can you imagine the way they were running to? <laughs> or even walking. Skipping. <laughs> like, oh. Damn. Oh, they stretched Christ. out anyway. Their legs got be. Their legs are weird. Now. Anyway, that that outfit there. Oh, oh I shouldn't know he's wearing. Yeah, could you imagine though? Barney skipping with Grimace. The little short arms and shit. <clears throat> oh yeah. Oh man. Oh. Okay. So they are not rustlers. <laughs> <laughs> but I just. <laughs> I just envisioned them wrestling with their little tiny arms. They just slap each other <laughs> like this. <laughs> they gotta get real close to each other just to hit each other. It's like rocking oh. soccer robots, dude. They gotta get real close. Oh my god, I'm they trying. They each other's block off. <laughs> really trying not to continue <laughs> dying. Oh my oh, you god. Know, you, know, you know the dance store's head's coming off because it's all it's, good. It's, 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 it's a full outfit. This is the highest Woo! your boys. Uh, Matt Yowie Jowick. <laughs> Matt. Matt Yowie Wally Jackson. Wowie Yowie. Yowie Wowie. Yowie Wowie. <laughs> Yowie Wowie. Jackson. Run. <laughs> O.S. Motherfucker. Cool. Y'all don't, y'all don't run from the, run from us. Let me in. Run to us. Let me in. Run. <laughs> Anyway, so... Oh, my God. Is that Bear Country coming back? No, that's the Iron Savages. Iron Savages are debuting next week on fucking FTR. We can't book a 100-man battle royal. We can only book an 80-man battle royal. 80-man battle royal. Because we can have only eight battle royals. Eight battle royals. And then ten... Or two (sighs) other ones. Yeah. Then it'll come down to one winner of one battle royal that becomes the champion of the world. Of the world. Or worlds. So on breaking news, breaking freaking news, Yokozuna was not a real Yokozuna. Breaking news. Big Show fought a Yokozuna. Yeah. He, I think he's the closest to Yokozuna. But Yokozuna was a Samoan man. Breaking news. Bet you didn't know that yeah, one. Yeah, professionally Yokozuna. He was not. And a Yokozuna means a fucking... King Sumo or something. Yeah. Top Sumo. The best. He was not in the Sumo. <laughs> at all. Champion. World. God of sumo and. Yeah. <laughs> God Samoan. God Samoan. <laughs> well, he was Samoan, so Samoan. Yeah, I S- S- Samoan. Samoan. I could Sam- really, <laughs> I'm so high right now. Too, I can get off on a fucking laughing fit. I've got to stop. <laughs> oh, my Woo! God. You know what? Wade Barrett on potentially returning to face Gunther. What? Really? And WWE, hell no. Okay. Whatever so, hell no is. Maybe... Maybe we get a real fucking challenger to way or to Gunther again because 
Why you buried an old Drew man? Drew McIntyre, it took a minute. Drew McIntyre was a good challenger. We, it took a minute for us to get a good challenger. Yeah. Chad Gable even a good challenger. He was being yeah, very serious know. on tweeting. He was like, look, oh, the shoosh and all the shit. Like, it's, yeah. it's fine. It's a gimmick. It's funny, whatever. Yeah. But, like, I am real, and I will fucking wrestle. Yeah, I mean, I get the whole Chad Gable thing. I mean, I was thinking he was going to win it, actually. I don't know. We need something, somebody bigger than that. I don't know. So, I don't know. I'm thinking something else. I don't know who else, but I'm thinking something else. But I don't know yet. But Chad Gable's a good one. Uh, Cody Rhodes, I don't know. But, you know, that's just because of star power, probably. <laughs> Cody there, going against Roman, I heard about at possibly WrestleMania. Oh, wow. So, WWE Hall of Famer Jim Dungan hospitalized. Damn, Jim. Deborah Duggan issued statements about it. Ellie Knight and Paul Heyman meet for the first time and more top ten moments from WWE Sox SmackDown. So, hmm. and a top ten moment out of that. Dark match results and WWE producers revealed for the post-payback edition of SmackDown. Backstage reactions to the... Well, never mind. Let's... But yeah, but let's see about this damn shit right here. That's like, boy. What is this? Dare to be hell no thing going on here. I want to know about Paul Heyman and LA Knight's meeting. I just thought like it was a pay per view or something. I don't know what that is. What'd you say? I want to know more about Paul Heyman oh, and the Paul Heyman. Knight's meeting. Paul Heyman meeting. <laughs> On the grapevine. Through the grapevine. Okay, so Kyle Foster Moore has said, sure, LOL. Maybe he would be down to be interviewed as well. So that's a good thing. Because I thought it would be a good idea, you know, like, you know, interview uh, Kyle about just like, I don't know. Because I think it's interesting. Like being that close to someone whose dreams was different from yours, you know. You got music. You got wrestling. And they have a lot in common, you know, but, you know, uh, you know, just everything about it. I think it'd be interesting, right? Yeah. Yeah. Good idea. So we got that in the future where we're going to sit down with Sin Crowley's best friend, childhood best friend. Um, and we're going to get that in. So uh, let's see. Yes, they. Dirty has released the latest edition of its top ten series this time, featuring the best moments from the September eighth edition of SmackDown. The full blah blah blah. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I don't know if it's a video, but no, it's just a picture. All right, well, it's the picture of them. Well, ain't much on it. No. Okay. Unless this is a video about it. Oh, this is the highest fuck podcast. This is the highest Bear fuck podcast, guys. For a oh, man. Like, comment, Y'all gotta like and subscribe, dog. That notification bell so you know what we're doing. Because if you don't, so you I'm gonna be mad. When we can be around. You're gonna be coist. Follow us on our Twitter X's. And Twitter X's. Facebook pages. All our Twitter X's. <laughs> <laughs> we got X's on Twitter. <laughs> Twitter got four. X's. I got three X's on Twitter. <laughs> Adam Pierce. I don't know what this is, man. What the heck is this, man? Commercial it's just like dude. commercials, dude. Man, they wanted to get me all irritated. <laughs> <laughs> I hate them. Huh? Oh. oh. We're waiting for shit to load. The Miz. When your kid has a bad night's sleep. L.A. Knight and The Miz. And we have a commercial little, break. Their little feud thing that happened was nice. I like Okay, so September 8th. Wasn't that like yesterday? Mm-hmm. Okay. So. Grayson Water interrupts, interrupts uh, L.A. Knight segment. Are you in? This is Jimmy Ace. Jimmy Uso and Paul Heyman speak backstage. 
British judge British judgment. When your kid has a bad night's sleep, they feel it. The Crawling brutes interrupt the judgment. Day. Kids helps them fall asleep naturally and uh, wake up with fresh these are, I guess British judgment is just the uh, British whatever it's called. I don't know, man. Night's theory, Ellie Knight defeats Austin Theory. That's good. Go LA Knight. Brutes fall. So Judgment Day defeats the Brawling Brutes. Mm. Frosty meeting is what these, these are just segment names. But anyway, so LA Knight and Paul Heyman meet for the first time. They call it a Frosty meeting. So um, I guess it's Cold Soldiers and shit. I don't know what that means. Uh, AJ Styles defeats Jimmy Uso, Bobby Lashley, and the Street Profits send a message to the Judgment Day. Oh, it's done. Judgment Day is done. And, uh, let's see. Asuka causes a distraction in women's tag team match. Judgment Day attacks AJ Styles and feeds him to Solo Sokoa. That happened on SmackDown. We got the final set for AEW Grand Slam's uh, eliminated tournament updated card for September 13th. FTR holding the World Tag Team cha Challenge in AEW will defend the tag team titles on September 16th edition of a Collision. Uh, AEW International Championship match added to September 13th Dynamite in Sa Cincinnati, Ohio. Of course, because what do you do? John motherfucking Moxley. Um, Brian Danielson and Zack Zaber Jr. made official for AEW Wrestle Dream. So that's cool. We got that. That is definitely uh, a done deal. Grand Slam, we're going to get Claudio Castanolia and uh, Eddie Kingston for the double championship match. That's going to be lit. They hate each other. All through their career, they've hated each other. So that's going to be fun. Oh, I heard that there was a rumor that there might be a, might be horrible, a Medusa moment with CM Punk. Like he goes to WWE and like Throws has the, the AEW line. real women or the real, real women's, women's series. Yeah. Yep. That's probably what people think about him right now. And he throws it away. <laughs> well, on not like national that, TV some, like Medusa. I don't know what I'm thinking. But thinking of it that way, yeah, yeah, thinking of it that way. Um, yeah, I mean, that's crazy. I don't, I don't know. I wouldn't want that to happen though. That AEW title is awesome. He, or maybe it's just a toy Amazing title. Amazing permanent heel. Yeah, I know. Permanent. Um, but big things are coming. Big things are popping. Little things are stopping, man. We got a lot of big things coming up. In wrestling. So, I mean, in wrestling. Wrestling's not fake! Um, a lot of big stuff happening. Big so, y'all check this shit out, little man. Little things stopping. Hell yeah. I mean... We got Billy Starks tearing it up. Subscribe. Hit that notification bell. She's doing big things so much, I have not been able to get in contact with her. Hmm. Yep. Not been able to get in touch with Billy Starks. Now, that was going to be the biggest thing in my life. <sighs> but, life goes on. I'm looking at another fella. Tanner, you on the podcast? He's uh, been in the TV show uh, called Wrestlers, so I was thinking about getting him on at some point. But I need to message him. I don't watch that show, Heels. Yeah, a new show called Wrestlers too, and Heels was good. I watched like first <gasps> seasons, I believe, <laughs> something like that. My friend. The world. Eric Bischoff believes Tony Khan should let Brian Danielson run creative for AEW Collision. Hmm. Whoa, man. Whoa, whoa. Former AEW star to make House of Glory debut at Hog Fallout. Uh, man, so we got some big stuff coming, boys. Girls all around the world. Pipe Bomb Club. I need this shirt, dude. I need this shirt. CM Punk shirt. says Pipe Bomb Club. Fifteen dollar dog. Available now. He's back. <laughs> That's what it says. Available. He's back. 
Ha! 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 He's back. He's back. Nope. I need that shirt, though. $15? I'll take it. He's not back, though. I'll buy it. He's gone. I need it. He's gone forever. I need it. I need it. He'll never be back. Give me that CM Punk. Give me that CM Punk. Mm. I got one shirt of his, dude. I had like fired two. Fired from AEW. Yeah, I had two of his shirts. He's fired somebody from stole WWE one of them. and Triple says Triple H says he's toxic. So as long uh, as WWE and Triple H is in charge of hiring, uh, well, I mean, we do got some other companies, but I mean, maybe CM Punk just takes his money and just makes his own company. Uh, he could be the star of that company. I'll watch that yeah. company. It's called Best in the Wrestling. <laughs> best in the wrestling, not best in the world. Why not? Or something like that. Best in the world wrestling. B I T W wrestling. Hey, that's a good ring. <laughs> B I T W wrestling. Coming at you live. CM Punk, the main yeah. star. He's a champion forever. It'll be a big fish in a small pond. Yeah, boo. Yeah, boo. He get injured in the first month of production. He gets injured in like first week. First day. I don't know. And he's inducted <laughs> into the Hall of Fame the next day. <laughs> yeah. 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 Doesn't even have to die. Just has to. Career wise. Just retire. Because he's injured. Yeah. Yeah. Permanently retired like Edge. Yeah. When they inducted Edge into the Hall of Fame. Wow. We're getting really dark. <laughs> or evil. No, I don't know what we were talking about. I kind of forgot. <laughs> injured wrestlers. Injured wrestlers. We got to injure them all. I want to injure some more. <laughs> I want to injure some of them. There's a couple that, man. They, man wow. Yeah. <laughs> We can fake these things too, you know. We just like write Austin Theory off TV, <laughs> like we have been for a while. I mean, he hasn't been doing anything. It'll be better with all about like this one to replace him. You don't get many John Cena looks alikes to come. Looks alikes. I mean, you gotta get some looks alikes, man. You gotta. <laughs> 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 Woo! Anyway, um, <laughs> talk to me. Oh, shit, dog. Hell yeah, we high as hell in this bitch ass uh, outside domain area domicile. This is the highest fuck. This is the highest domicile. I mean, the highest fuck domicile. Yeah. With your boys. With your boys, uh, Matt Tulip Bowl Jackson. And JS. Motherfucking. Smoothie Cool. cool. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, Bo. His limited edition action figure. Limited edition smoothie bowl. Bowl of smoothies. Motherfucking cool. And jelly beans and probably gummy bears and all these other things. That rainbows. Created you in rainbows. I shit. Yeah. Rainbows. Shit's rainbows, rainbows course, guys. Dude. Y'all heard it just now. <laughs> glitter. He, I mean, he, he does. Probably does, man. A piss glitter. He pisses glitter, and uh, which is excellency, okay? And he poops. <laughs> Motherfucking rainbows, dog. And uh, <laughs> and farts clouds of fucking cotton, uh, candy. Fu- cotton candy, fucking uh, dope weed. <laughs> <laughs> that dope is the podcast. The bigger the bong is, the harder to clear that son of a bitch. But I think we've talked about right. wrestling. Yeah, we've right. talked thoroughly about wrestling. We've talked. We've talked a good minute. I don't know what else to talk about at the moment. No, Judgment Day. No, we talked about them. Bloodline. Bloodline is dispersed. I guess I don't know what's going on with that. Jimmy and Jay. Yeah. I think. Oh, one went SmackDown. One's on Raw. That's it. So they pushed that feud off for a while because they accidentally revealed well, that that fucking Rikishi was my, coming back. My and whole, so they decided not to fucking do it for a little while. My whole they deal is... hold it off until Mania. Yeah, exactly. They're going to do the Oos boys versus each other. Yeah. So... With Rikishi as the special guest referee. Yeah. 
Well, like they were going to do it payback, but now they're not going to do it at payback because yeah. one of them might have Solo Sokoa in the corner. So, but who knows? <coughs> we might get actually Naomi back uh, by that time to do something with. Uh, with it. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I don't know. Blood and Wire. I mean, kind of sad, but kind of not. I don't know. In between on it, I liked it in a way. It so was, it was all right. It was fitting. I don't. I'm. I'm. I just wish that there had been an end to Roman during that thing. I do want to know maybe if we action. get that with fucking Cody though. And maybe, maybe Paul Heyman will turn on Roman at some point, and that'll build L.A. Well, Cody wins the title. Yeah. Paul Heyman somehow turns on Roman. And goes to Cody. I don't. I don't fucking. That's crazy. No, I just thought it was he, crazy no, shit. Paul's, Paul's Paul just Heyman like, manages Cody. Paul's just like, no, nah, <laughs> fuck you, Roman. You don't have a title anymore. And then he fucking <clears throat> aligns himself with another heel, L.A. Knight. Ah. And then L.A. Knight and Ro- and Paul go off and do whatever. And then... I don't know. Last time he did that for Ryback, didn't work. For smaller stars. <laughs> I mean, L.A. Knight's a megastar, but... Is LA Knight Roman has Reigns? the potential to be the megastar. Yeah, but is he Roman Reigns? I don't know if he can be. I don't know. Maybe he can be. Hopefully he can. I'm, I'm hoping they can push him there. I mean, I'm hoping. World Championship, Intercontinental Championship. He is the something. Rock and Stone Cold Steve Austin. I know, he's he great, has yeah. The star power. He's great. He's great. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> he's great, man. He's dummy, yeah. Um, <laughs> the dude's amazing. Uh... Even Dude, with Eli Drake, his that promos, was the whole. his promos with the Miz, I was, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to see what you've seen all along, and I just didn't know about it because I've yeah, I mean, never seen his Eli Drake stuff. So through TNA and through uh, NXT, like I got a big dose of that man, and that, that's a uh, hell right there. I'm happy, I'm happy. But now he gets a chance to go to WWE and extend his career even more, even though he dominated TNA when he did TNA, and then he was in NXT for. You know, so what he's done in his career, he's already a made man already. So, whatever's to come in the future, Jesus, it could be even bigger, man. So, he's already had, like, quite a few wrestling careers within companies, you know? So, guys like that, I think, are, like, you know, inspirational in a way because they stuck through, you know, and they worked really hard with this company that was on TV or what have you, and they just was like top names there and top names here. It didn't matter where they went, you know, all that shit. So that right there just like is dedication to the fucking craft. Uh, yeah, you gotta respect that craft, dog. Respect that wrestling. The Indies. Support the Indies, dog. You know, I got some scissors inside, right? You're going to break that shit like You're going to hurt yourself. I don't want to You're going to hurt yourself. I don't want to come off without it coming. How do you get this part, this thing off? Can't you just pull that some bitch off? You know what I'm saying? How do you get it off? They make, they make it where you can't take it off and give it to somebody else, bro. Well, I'm about to go to the rock fest tomorrow. We're going to get this off one way or another. I'm just gonna sneak in and just steal shit from the rock fest. You can't. With that thing. I'll just tie it on or something. Put black tape around it, they won't know the difference. So, anyway. You can't go back tomorrow because it's canceled. It's canceled. So, anyway. So, wrestling. 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 This is not a fun podcast. Not as fuck seeing a punk podcast. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Phil, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> Ridiculous, dude. Um, yeah, man. I'm just, just, it just broke my heart. <laughs> yeah. He Hulk Hogan me hmm. twice, <laughs> three to, times, I think. He can start his own company or go to TNA. Like yeah, this. make your own company. Yeah, B I T W wrestling. A cult of personality wrestling. COP. Whatever. Let's go. CPW. Cult of personality wrestling. Uh, CPW. 
Look at my eyes, what do you see? The cult of personality. I know your pain. I know the pain. Of not knowing lyrics today. <laughs> cult of personality. Yeah. Let me in. I'm gonna run. Run. Oh, you know that, uh, so, supposedly, the Wyatt character, Bray Wyatt's character, uh, with the paint and all that stuff, that, uh, Pepsi, th I mean, uh, Mountain Dew thing, or whatever, Pepsi Black, Mountain Dew Black? Pitch Black. Pitch Black. Okay, so that painted creature guy was Wyatt Six. That was his name, Wyatt Six. I guess he was the sixth, sixth Wyatt character, if you add him all up, I guess. I don't know, man. But... I did this whole thing on TikTok where it shows you what character you would be in the funhouse or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I got Wyatt Six. Which was the painting. Well, first it gave me, like, without me hitting the record button, it gave me Uncle Howdy, which I was really like, damn it. Why couldn't that been when I pressed record, you know, and actually did it? Because that didn't count. When I pressed record for the TikTok thing, it goes and it blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I would have gotten Uncle Howdy if it would have start if it would have waited until it hit recorded. Yeah. But I got Wyatt 6, which is dope. You know, Wyatt 6 with the freaking paint and stuff. That was really dope. I liked it a lot. I was really impressed with that shit. I loved it. I loved everything that man did, you know what I'm saying? Er, dang, man, dog. I was watching this shit last night, man, and this morning. I'm just like, man, that is just gone, man. You know. And it's, it's crazy because the Undertaker shit or Kane, you know, you got to watch their whole career up until they stop wrestling and all that shit, dog. Apparently, Glenn Jacobs is still wrestling. Apparently, I'm never going to probably have closure from this. No. Because it's jacked. That sucks. He was taken too young. I'm thinking about all kinds of shit that I know he was planning on doing, maybe. And just things that could come. From just him being in wrestling, anywhere he's at, anywhere he's at, oh, anywhere the great. Wyatt goes, you will make some fucking money. Not even money, but <laughs> I was trying to rhyme something. I would have liked to see more characters. From yeah, me too. I mean, because I, I, I know Wyatt's, that Wyatt Six guy was not the last one. Uncle Howdy had more longevity. And like... They've also been, I don't know if it's a rumor or they're actually talking about this, but actually keeping the Uncle Howdy thing going. It's Bo Dallas playing it, so. They could continue the weird shit if they wanted to. I want to. If WWE wanted to. Yeah. If they can just keep that Uncle Howdy for a little bit, or do some shit with the Uncle Howdy thing and actually bring back Bo Dallas like that. And then eventually, you know, maybe he stops doing it and becomes Bo Dallas again and drops the whole Uncle Howdy thing. Whatever. Either way, doing that and, you know, letting, you know, his brother carry on kind of like his legacy or something like that, I would be okay with that. And a lot of fans would be okay with that. Because I think that's the only closure we're going to probably get. Yeah, but you can't force Bo Dallas into that. If he doesn't no, feel like he wants to. I think he would. I think, I, I, I don't know, but, you know, if it was, if, if he was willing to do it, I'm pretty sure that wouldn't upset anybody, is what I'm pre basically saying. Like, if he's willing to do it, if Dirty's willing to do it, if, you know, it can actually work, then let's go on that. Because he's a single character with that. And... There is some deep stuff. I mean, there's some cool shit that you can use that deep. Like, go deep with it. You can go, like, all kinds of stuff with that. Like, oh, that's awesome. I mean, pretty cool. I think it'd be cool, man. Ah. I don't know. I just think this whole thing can continue in wrestling, you know? Like, it's crazy that we're not going to have, like, his type of entertainment if we don't get, like, something like Uncle Howdy. Or, you know. If, you know, or Joe Gacy might, I mean, like, I'm, you know, Joe Gacy, 
I think he could do a, a great job at maybe, you know, maybe filling that. Maybe. If they did some cool shit with him. Since he used to wear a mask and do this shit. And he still does the mask thing and all this creepy cult stuff. And... What are you saying? Like, I don't... I he don't reminds me of Bray anyway. want so. to force somebody ever into a box. Oh, no, 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 no. And that would be, like, the cap of his career. If you put somebody in want, that position... Well, Joe, I want, I want Joe Gacy to do what he's already been doing. And if we could do it on a bigger stage with more theatrics... And whatever you can add to him. I don't know about I don't know about what you can add to him or not at the present moment. But I'm saying, like, you know, whatever big shit you can do with that, that is probably going to be the closest we can get to, like, you know... At the moment, character. at the moment, yeah, for something that like that, in that sense, not replacing anybody because I'll never be able to do that. That's no. But it's not bad to say that the next guy in line is possibility for Joe Gacy to be on that level of, you know, because a lot of her are, are dead. To be honest, like. Not getting replaced or nothing, but there's someone that fills that void that you don't have anymore with that last person that had what you like or whatever. So the Undertaker, of course, he doesn't wrestle no more, so that void has to be filled. It's been filled by a multiple fucking guys because I couldn't get over that. <laughs> so I done filled it with like tons of guys, and those guys get filled with guys. You know, so it just it's a continual thing, but beautiful thing though. It's like basically like letting the next guy step up. It's like, yeah, I put so much into CM Punk or whoever it is that this is the next guy that, like, CM Punk, from CM Punk went to Daniel Bryan. And then I gave it to somebody else at Daniel Bryan. My thing about, are we still recording? Yeah, and sometimes okay. it's multiple people, too. My thing time. about CM Punk and this whole thing, Jack Perry shot a pipe bomb. Sure. Yeah. Whatever. That's what CM Punk does all the time. Yeah. If you can't take what you dish out... I know. What the fuck, dude? But Jack's still a boy. I mean, he's still a up-and-comer dude. Thing. There's a lot of them backstage stuff that don't ha don't need... I don't know, man. I wasn't there. I, I like... Politics about aside, Jack like Perry that. is a star, and fucking he is on the same playing sure. field, yeah. on the same show as yeah. fucking CM Punk. I get that. So fuck that. Yeah, I fuck the whole conversation. I mean, the whole... Con uh, ordeal between them two because you know for one Jack Perry started in the company day one CM Punk was not there in the beginning of this shit Jericho was if we're talking mega Cody. stars two, Jericho. if we're talking about somebody that's close to CM Punk's stardom or past it or whatever you want to do with that shit I'm not going to do that because I'm going to say CM Punk's way bigger than Jericho but Jericho's big as well. Jericho's they're the a same. Legend. I think they're just like they're just like even as fuck, really. Jericho's just old over. and he's a legend. CM Punk's just a little bit tad over Jericho for my book. They're almost damn near even as fuck, dude. It's kind of crazy. I've been trying to juggle myself with that. Like, you know, do I like them literally the same? Are they equal in my book? Nope. <clears throat> they're not. Like, they're really not. Man, it's crazy. You would have thought they would be, but... Uh, and see, that's what I'm saying. Jericho was my man growing up. And then seeing Punk fucking just changed my world, dude. Like, made me see wrestling in a whole different way. Like, I don't know. He did that for a lot of guys. I'm not just speaking for myself. There's a lot of guys that feel the same way I do. Or women, whatever. People in general. Wrestling fans. CM Punk was the guy that brought them back to wrestling. That's what makes Punk a bitch, though. <laughs> um, yeah, what I say... Down. Again... He fucking being a bitch and not being able to take what you dish out. Well, you uh, Jack Perry shot a pipe bomb. He shot on CM Punk. P CM shot Punk on didn't him. He shot fight. on him. He Did shot. You? He shot on CM Punk, and CM Sploosh. Punk didn't want to fucking hear it. Yeah. And fucking got some in his eye. He got some. He got pissed off about it. I heard something got, and they got thrown in a fucking got hit, fight. Hit yeah. Tony Khan. Fucking monitor got knocked over and fucking hit Tony Khan. Yeah. And fucking CM Punk. Motherfucker. Hit uh, fucking Tony Khan with a monitor. Yeah. That was an accident, dog. Right? Did it just fall over? Did it fall over? I think it just fell over. Fucking shit. Still. 
You fucking throwing a temper tantrum like a little baby. Yeah. Are they both fucking well, hit I mean, Tony Khan in the fucking Jack head. Jack Perry probably a little baby too. Sorry, Jack. A little baby. Probably all babies. You're a grown ass man. Act like it, both yeah. of you. Yeah. That's what yeah. I'm talking about. And this is why we, I thought we created collision to get CM Punk onto a show. <laughs> <laughs> Huh. We created the whole time. <laughs> the whole fucking scenario <laughs> yeah. was just so CM Punk could be on a show by himself and nobody fucking had to deal with him. He didn't have to worry about Colt Cabana <laughs> no, or whoever else had problems with him. So they just like, did this collision thing. That's so, what I, I think I heard about that. You know, it's like that was their answer. Was so answer. why? It's like okay, so we're gonna get CM we Punk can't back get on TV. CM but Punk on TV because show. he won't fucking work with anybody and nobody will work with him because they all hate each other. So, no, we're not actually going to put him on a show. We're going to put him by himself. (laughs) With a bunch of guys that like him. Yeah. And then fucking he gets fucking mixed up with people that fucking... I don't know why Jack Berry would shoot shots on him. (laughs) (laughs) Who does that? Who even goes up to CM Punk in the first place? Respect your elders, motherfucker. They both had a fucking fucking meltdown and they need to respect fucking respect your elders both CM Punk's sick of these people coming in here not respecting the elders if, if he's Punk old as fuck man is, if Punk is an elder <laughs> then he needs to be more respectful too I know well see Tony Khan's just a little you think Undertaker <laughs> ever would have fucking hurt anybody probably not but Tony Khan's a little man so he needs to toughen up Tony Khan get tough you're probably the reason I'm not gonna get Billy Stark. Sure. <laughs> will never be a fucking locker room leader. We need Billy Starks. Hashtag Billy Starks on the highest fuck podcast. I think Tony Khan's gonna make it where I don't get her. <sighs> She's so busy, man. Ring of Honor, fucking AEW dog. She ain't never gonna get a break. This is the highest fuck podcast. Sightseeing, too, boy. She All right, guys. Want, she don't want. Anyway, we don't want. This like, has been. The we don't want one. like uh, dudes in two tubs. This has been the highest. Form I have no clue what that's supposed to mean or whatever, but whatever. This has been the high, the highest fuck podcast. Ass fuck podcast with your boys, Matt, Yowie Wowie Jackson, and JS motherfucking cool. What's up? See y'all later. We are out. Like, like Elvis, Elvis Presley. Presley. Love you. Love Bye. you. Bye.